All right, hello everyone, it is I, the Obsessive Gamer, and welcome to the Pokemon Gold and Silver 1997 Space World demo, which, this is the beginning of it, which is similar to the final games, but there's no music in this part, in case you're wondering why the music is not playing. So I hope you all are having a good night here. We are um, going to be going through this as far as we can. I'm not, I'm not sure if it'll be done in one day, I don't know how long this is. This is a blind pay playthrough, technically. Um, and, by the way, notice that part with, the P with Pikachu pushing Jigglypuff off. In the final game, P Jigglypuff is literally attacked by Pikachu. Um, yeah. Well, if you want to play this, I can't legally send this, but you can easily find it on Google. Just do a simple Google search and you can find it. Yeah, because if I send this to people, the Nintendo ban hammer will come down on me pretty damn hard too, and I don't want them to nuke my channel suddenly. Alright, so so this is the title intro, very different from the original games as you can see here. I am going to be going through this as much as we can, and this is in Japanese. I don't know Japanese, so this is going to be fun trying to figure this out, so we'll go through it as, and see what we can. Well, yeah, I mean, this, it is was being developed, I guess, for the Game Boy Color, because it does have the Game Boy Color palettes here. But it, uh, but Game Boy Color was also in development, too, so they had this kind of planned for it. But yeah, let's start this off. Yeah, it's in Japanese. Let's go through the first here. So Professor Oak, as usual, talking in the moon talk that I don't understand here today, so yeah. If s Now, Crystal Wolf, thank you for being here and knowing Japanese. If I could get stuck and I don't know something that says, please translate for me, please and thank you. I mean, not this basic text, but something that we really need translated. That'd be nice. If some people know Japanese, including Crystal Wolf, I'll be happy here. Alright. So yeah, pr probably the whole world, the world of Pokemon kind of thing is being told here by Professor Oak, as usual, about what the world of Pokemon is and everything. And so, here's our character, Gold, which we couldn't name, of course, because this is a demo. And, yeah, even though the title screen was a nice color, we have one solid color here. This is Maybe this was actually being made as a Game Boy regular game originally. Well, yeah, I guess this is the N64. It looks, yep, it's the N64, as mentioned there. I saw the 64. All right. The PC is bootable from here still. Alright, so moving forward here. Let's go downstairs here. Alright, so yeah, it looks like I mentioned that it was a demo of the game on the signpost, I believe, here. Hey, here's your mother, which I don't understand what she's saying, as usual. Yeah, let's move out and see what the actual town looks like. Alright, the first interesting thing is, it's a very different town. This looks nothing like um, the original town you start off in. Which, we got the professor's lab here is what I'm guessing at least. But we're stopped suddenly. Oh, we can't go in, I see. We can't go into the professor's lab. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, let's look at the menu here. Whoops. Okay, so... Just to familiarize with what's in here, let's look at the first, which is obviously the Pokedex. Let's see what Pokemon we have, actually. We have a Chikorita, apparently, here. All the way back there, still in development. Too, nothing new. So, let's let's move back here. Meh. Oh god, I'm trying to like press the B button here, and it's kind of messing me up here. There you go. That's the next menu. Okay, let's see what Pokemon we have now. Which should be the Chikorita. Yep, it's, a chi it's the Chikorita here we have. I heard that it's kind of randomized what you get, actually. Oh! Apparently, Crystal Wolf here is saying the town is called Silent Hills. <laughs> wow. If there's a ghost Pokemon right around here or something creepy, I am gonna be saddened by this. Because I hope this is intentionally called that. So I don't know what these items are. I'm kind of hoping one of these is a town map just to see what's here. But apparently, I can't use anything, so 
I don't think we actually have the town map, unless it's one of these items. Which is not, it's your trainer card. So, and here, just your menu and options. Yep, okay. Now the first interesting thing is we have a Pokemon Center right at your the starting town. Something that doesn't normally happen in the game. Okay, so... It's a big Pokemon Center too, actually. It's, it, it goes really wide. And the PC has its own se sectioned off area. No one can see what you're doing, I guess, in here. But you can't access it either. It just kind of pushed me away. This was made... Okay, so this game was made before the Konami game Silent Hill. So Silent Hill is, is not a reference to the game Silent Hill. Ha! What the? Stream is down? What? Stream is down? I'm see I'm seeing it play here. I'm seeing it, cause I. But yeah, um, I don't know why. That, that's very strange, cause it's playing perfectly here actually. Oh, it has a delay. The stream has a delay. I see. Yeah, refresh your window if that happens. By the way, cause it can happen. Playing perfectly for me here. Wait, I can't seem to heal my Pokemon either, just out, out of the go. It's interesting. Let's move forward. Yeah, because it's crystal clear this um, stream for me here. Nothing's wrong with it, as far as I can tell. Anyways, let's actually go and explore the town. I'm not going to go to every house, because it's weird. Okay, so here we are in the first route here. And yeah, if... if Okay, so let's see if we can find a Pokemon to battle here. Okay, let's see what we got here. Any good beta Pokemon here? Okay, we got something! Okay, I... This is a beta Pokemon. If I could get a good translation here of what it's called, that'd be nice. But... Let's move forward here. Okay, with Chikorita, I don't... Alright, so I don't know the attacks here. We're just gonna randomly spam and hopefully hit something good. Okay, we did an attack. It worked. We're gonna try to capture this Pokemon. I hope I, I, hope I have Pokeballs. I don't know if I do or not. Yeah, I know. It kind of looks like a Hoppet, but it's different at the same time here. Okay, let's try to catch it now. I, If I have a Pokeball, that is. Okay, so its name is apparently a Hanako. Okay, so let's see if we have... Oh, whoops, that's not the right menu. This is the right menu. Okay, let's see if this is a Pokeball. Nope, that's something to heal... Do something to a Pokemon. This is also not a Pokeball. I'm guessing we have no Pokeballs to actually throw at Pokemon. Unfortunately, we don't. Which is unfortunate here. Okay, we're just gonna kill and gain experience. Okay, so moving forward. And yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know why it's doing that. It's, I mean, the stream's silky smooth on my end, but I've noticed just, just how this uh, way live streams work sometimes. I suggest um, refreshing your window and seeing it maybe work out, because it might. It does for me sometimes when that happens. Ah, so it really is a... J it was a hop-up, actually. Since it has the same Japanese name as the regular hop-up. Okay. Now let's see what town we're coming up to. If I get a translation for that, that'd be good. I actually should put that up for a little longer for any of you to see. I know. I like how I'm working with the audience here. Oh. That's interesting. I can't go back, actually. Oh, wait, I could. Look at that. You, can't, you think you're at a dead end, but you go through and... Yeah. Yeah, that's just interesting. Okay. Okay, looks like this is not a trainer we can face. Alright. Let's see if we're gonna face, face another Pokemon. Unfortunately, I, can't, I don't have any Pokeballs yet to capture anything. 
Oh, we got another hop up here. Which, I don't feel like battling, let's run away. Wow, just one step and we got this. Oh, we got a ladybug, which is green in this version. I'm not sure if it's just a palette being messy or what, but it's a... Yeah, ladybugs might have been green originally. Let's try to fight this one too. Wow, quick attack. I actually did a, kind of a decent amount of damage too. Let's try the other attacks and see if we got anything else. Heckin, this thing's fast, and it's actually painful too. Was that focus energy? Yes, it was. That was an interesting animation. Oh god, we're dying. I hope one of these is a potion that... Oh! It, it, oh! Oh! Was that leech seed? Heck. Or something. Oh, or synthesis? I don't know what the attack that was. It just healed me like that. Okay, guess we don't need to use whatever potion we might have. Okay, let's try the third attack and see what this is. This... Oh, here's Leech Seed. Okay, so yeah. Let's try to now kill this Ladybug. Ah, the Japanese name of Ladybug is Radiba, which is pretty much the... the, ja the yeah, literally the same thing. Yeah, that is true. I don't even know if that's a leaf attack or if it's a um, normal. Oh, are you kidding me? It healed completely? Yeah, forget it. We're running away. Oh god, when every step we take, we attack. Is this grass path just cursed like that? Or this Pokemon just won't let me go. Right, but I forgot. Right, bug type is weak to. I mean, it's strong against grass. I should remember that. But man, this route is very complicated compared to the first route you're in in the original game. In the final game, I mean. Oh, Caterpie. Alright, I mean, looks like Caterpie. Nothing special. Well, we'll run away. It's just a Caterpie. I'm gonna face pretty much uh, stuff from Gen 2 if I can, mostly. Did we hit a dead end? I think we hit a dead end there. Let me just go back and check. Oh, we got a Metapod now. That Caterpie clearly evolved at a lower level than it should, too. Oh yeah, none of the Pokemon have genders actually to them here. By the way, in case some of you are wondering uh, about Pokemon Generation 2 cut content, I plan to make a series on that, and this is kind of a learning experience for me here too, to learn a bit of this. I knew some things going into this, but we're getting a good analysis of the mechanics this way too. But yeah, it seems that's a dead end, so we're gonna try another path and hopefully not be stuck in this vicinity entirely and end this stream ultra prematurely. <laughs> wow, look at that. Why don't you look at that there? The encounter rates are horrible. Oh, Radita. So the other day I saw this weird post on Twitter that said that Radita is. It apparently can beat Goku using a whole set of advanced moves, apparently. Focus Sash and some other things. I can't remember it off the top of my head. It was interesting. I'm going to try to find that and post it on Twitter, my Twitter page as well for you all to see. Oh, okay, I think I found a different path. Good, we can, we can advance. I was worried we'd be stuck. And I was worried the demo was limited to that area. Alright, let's see what's everywhere. Yeah, Radata uses the exact same sprite, I think, at this point. I mean, a lot of things were still kind of being worked on. I'm not surprised. Alright, so... Okay, dead end. This is a lot of dead ends. This, these woods are horrendous for that. Is this a trainer could face? No. I kind of want to have a Pokemon battle against a trainer.
Oh, oh yeah, I guess this would be the Super Game Boy's color palette. I mean, it was actually a Super Game Boy file I noticed when I downloaded it. I wasn't sure why. Yes! The Rattata apparently can beat Goku using a Focus Sash, Quick Attack, and Endeavor. That's what the, the Twitter post stated. Which, oh, frick. It, 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 found out, it found out it was too strong now. Now it wants to actually be, kill my Chikorita. I think my attack... Oh, it's a, it's attack miss. I was worried my attack miss there. This is the... Okay, for those who just came in, this is the route that is literally after the starting town, apparently. So we haven't advanced very far, because there's a lot of dead ends here. Okay. Yeah. Is it dead? Good, it's dead. Oh god, I'm nearly dead. I hope I have a potion in here. Hey, we leveled up! Hey! Okay, let's try to um, heal. I hope I can. I have something to heal Chikorita with. Okay, hopefully this is a potion. Yeah! Okay, at least I know which one's a potion. So for those of you who hate starting with Grass Pokemon, in Pokemon Crystal I start with a Chikorita while in Gold I did uh, Cyndaquil, so we, I went for the, the actual Grass Starter for a change. And it made it breed with a Snorlax as well. It was fun. Gener for, um, for those who haven't played Generation 2, I highly recommend it. It's probably the one tied with Generation 5 in my opinion as the best Pokemon generation. So yeah. Alright, we're finally at the end of this. Now hopefully this isn't a dead end. Good. We are at... Where the hell are we? Okay. We haven't found a single trainer in this demo. Is this silver? I think this is silver. If someone could confirm to me if this is silver, that'd be nice. Maybe I'll do a Nuzlocke one day. I've never done one, actually. That'd be neat. Yeah, it kind of looks like silver. I'm not sure. Oh, something happened. Okay, the game got restarted. What the hell? Was that the end of the demo? Maybe she t you talked to her and... It and it ends the demo. Wow. Okay, I guess we're starting it, it over. There's another route we can take, so we'll try that. And see where that will lead. Let's just skip Professor Oak entirely. I guess... Oh, okay, so yeah, Silver was actually telling you that it was over. The demo ended there. Okay, so we're going to take a different route and try to find, um, and see what's on the other side here. And again, thank you to Crystal Wolf here for translating for us. This person's amazing. Oh, this actually is no path. Alright, that's interesting. That's interesting here. Yeah, I think we might have hit the end of the demo. There was the, that gate there. I kind of want to try and see what happens if I go into that gate. Because this is a short demo otherwise here. But... Let me just check what Pokemon I got right now, because apparently if you, you can start with... It gives you, it randomizes which Pokemon you start with. Oh, it's, I think it's still a Chikorita. Yep, it is. This is a, a rather short demo if this is true, though. Wow. I would have at least liked to have had one gym battle at least. I know that Gemmo is actually much larger because a lot of it is probably locked away. And I do plan to actually do a stream later on that has a hack of this exact demo but unlocked for anyone to play basically. And yeah, I think I might have done all that. I just want to see what happens if I try to go inside that gate. And hopefully maybe there's one other thing. It's probably a locked gate but yeah. But yeah, I just want to get at least to the end and just close it off. This is a short demo if this is the case. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, apparently this demo... D d yeah, this is actually just the Space World version. There is a hacked version. I want to do that later because I want to play this in its purest form to show what's actually there. 
I won't be able to pass silver. Huh. Okay, we'll make it up to silver once more, and I think I'm probably gonna end the stream there. It's one hell of a short stream as such if this is... Uh, in this case, I was not thinking the demo would be this short. And I, yeah, this is a blind playtest. I was not actually expecting it to this end, since apparently there's a crazy amount stacked into the ROM of this, which is apparently in inaccessible as such. So yeah, for those who came in late, um, this is gonna be a short watch if you rewatch this later too, I guess. Yeah, th this. But yeah, overall, I am. I have reached the. For those who have been watching my cut content series, I have actually finished my um, Pokemon Red and Blue cut content completely. So the Gold and Silver is the next Pokemon series I plan to do in the end. So yeah, as you can see, we can't go in, and Silver tells us the demo is over. So there's one more thing I do want to show actually on the title screen itself. Oh, there's a Space World debug version available too. Well, I'll, I'll probably play the hacked version next just because it'll be in English and we can actually ac access the whole thing and make it a continuous playthrough series. My nose lock for down the road wouldn't be bad. I wouldn't mind doing that eventually. But yeah, there's a lot of uh, new stuff stuff in this too. But, but yeah, I think this... But yeah, apparently, I, uh, before I end the stream, because this is a short demo, actually. I am going to be... But, I mean, I, I don't have the unlocked version. That's the eh, problem here. Okay, well, I do have this. I can show one more other thing, just because we ran short. I'm going to pull up the hacked version I got. It's called Super Gold 97. We're going to actually pull that up, because we're not ending this stream so easily. Because I was not planning for that. So here we go. This is the English hacked version we're going into. Yeah. Welcome to bonus round. Because this is going to... We're going to start this here. But yeah. As you can see, this hacked version actually puts in the um, actual soundtrack that's supposed to go over this too. Here. But we're going to skip straight to the title screen. Aren't you glad I'm not ending the stream? And yeah, they put in the actual Pokemon logo in here too with this version. This is the true English version we're playing here, made by someone here. You can find this if you Google it very easily, by the way, if you're very interested. And yeah, the final game's opening music is in too here. Yeah, I know, yeah. Okay, let's go in. We're in English, it's beautiful. I will thank you so much, Crystal Wolf, for helping us through that demo so much, by the way. I really appreciate all the work you've done here. Now, hello, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. As you may know, this world is inhibited with by creatures that we call Pokemon. Okay, this is the opening credits. I'm probably not going to read this all. As you can see, this was not actually in the Space World demo day with the slow with the slow king here. They basically put in what would probably make they basically took the Space World demo and made it complete. So it's beatable all the way from start to end. And apparently they made a, an original post game for this too, just for the hell of it. Okay, we're gonna try to skip ahead quickly. Okay, what was your name? Okay, we're gonna keep this simple, because I'm bad at names. We're gonna just call myself... Gold here, let's just go with that. I know, nothing too original. Now, on the other hand, for Silver... Oh, Silver was actually your original... Was it your childhood friend in this? Not just some rando thief. Okay. I want to think of a name. If any of you can give me a good name for Silver, I will go for it. I'm going to wait for it, wait on this for you guys. And apparently the stream is definitely behind what I play here, so I'm going to wait for a moment. Okay. Okay, give me a name, guys. Give me a name. Give me a name. Give me a name. Just throw some... Kirito. <laughs> yeah, my hate for Sword Art will do that. Elfmon. Yes, let's go. Let's go Taiwanese version. I mean, not Taiwanese. It's Vietnamese uh, that had the Elfmon. Let's go Elfmon for you guys. 
going clean apparently too, because we could name him really, really bad. But yeah, let's go Elfmon. That seems to be pretty damn popular actually in the chat. That's right, Elfmon was his name. <laughs> go before you start your journey. You'll have to set the time and date. What day is it? Is this Sunday? Uh, no. What day is it? Oh, fuck. Oh, okay, it's Sunday now. I can't go back. I accidentally picked it. Okay, um... Let's at least pick the correct, um, time here. It's... What time is it right now? It's 9.26. Okay. How many minutes? 9.26. Let's push this there. Okay. I remember as a kid when I used to play the Pokemon games. And I used to actually name the rival whatever whoever was my enemy in grade school at that time. Nowadays I don't really have enemies, so naming a rival has been always super hard as such. Which is why I'm kind of glad in the newer game I didn't actually have to name my rival for a change. And I'm talking about Sword and Shield, by the way. Yeah, I guess in this beta version, Silver was never your a thief. He was actually just your childhood neighbor, like in most games. Basically, it was boring. All right, here we go. Let's see. Nice. We're actually playing this in English now. Oh, that even says you, you have a relative in Kanto apparently in this version. Interesting. Whoa! I got a brother too, and he's and he's literally standing in my room, staring at me as I leave my room. All right. Emails PC, man. All right. Actually, do I have two beds here, too? Yeah, there's two beds, actually. So, yeah, we share a room. Your mother still sleeps on the couch, clearly. Or the table. There's actually no couch. I just remember that. Apparently, yeah, it doesn't say what game he's playing on the N64, I think. Oh, God. Is this repeating the same text? Yes, it is about the Poke Gear. Yeah, this is the mod. We played the, the actual demo earlier, but it um, ended too quickly. So I decided to start up the, the hack instead that lets you actually beat the game fully. So yeah, we'll be going for a while, I guess, with this. And I can actually do this later on, too, and come back we keep continuing. Because this is going to probably take us a while to beat, because we're going to play a full game, actually, for you guys. Hey. So, yeah, uh, JP... Contrary is asking who am I and why did they get recommend this video? So hello, I'm the obsessive gamer I make a lot of cut content videos including Pokemon especially and you're watching this demo here So I hope you enjoy it What? Okay, I guess I can't go yet. I guess I'll go to my PC I got an email I would like to entrust you with won't you come by to collect it? Pokemon Researcher Oak. Okay, Oak apparently gives you... It's not a newer mod, but it gets updated. I got the most recent version that actually came out in April of this year. So yeah, it's it's the most updated version of this. That now includes a post-game, apparently. And the post-game was not in the demo. This is just bonus they made for this. Pokemon Gear or just Poke? Okay, setting up your Poke Gear by your mother. You really are a child. I should remember this. Is it daylight savings time right now? No. Yes. Poke Gear is now set up. Oh, good. We can finally move forward. Uh, let's see how we can use the phone. Turn on the Poke Gear and select the phone icon. Phone numbers are stored in the memory. Just choose a name you want to call. Gee, isn't that convenient. By the way, that friend of yours stopped by looking for you. 
He's probably still close by, I'm sure. You'll bump into him soon. I love how Silver is apparently your friend in this, rather than Giovanni's son. Yeah, in case you get some of you su still didn't know. Yeah, oh yeah, right, the Poké Gear. Yeah. Yeah, and then, uh, let's see if we can find Silver, actually. Oh, Silver actually comes right up to you. And he's got his kick-ass theme here, too. There's something I gotta brag to you about. I got an email from Professor Roke! Yeah, that, the famous one! You got one too? Man, that's no fun! <laughs> well, you, uh... What do you call your mother again? Oh, you could name your mother! <laughs> right, I forgot this is a thing. Appar apparently someone made a... It's not a direct translation of the Space War one. It's a full translation, yes. But apparently, they went to hack the game to make it playable, because the demo ends too quickly. So someone, g give me a name to give my mother. Yeah, let's do this. I'll be... But they made a fan translation of this, and you can play it start to finish. It's a ROM hack of the Space World demo, yes, that'll, let, that'll get you through the whole game. So give me a name for the mother. I love this, uh, let the part of... Elfess. <laughs> Elf mom, mother, hmm. Okay, Elf Mom seems to be popular. Let's name her Elf Mom. You guys love your Vietnamese version of the game, clearly. I should play that one day just for the hell of it. Because that thing's just too much of a meme. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Calling her something so childish is hilarious. Damn, yeah, they, they, he saw right through us. Silver is that sharp. Well, I'm off to Oaks. See you there! Well then, well then, so let's see if we can still enter actually the laboratory. I could, which, which Silver does actually hang out there rather than, oh, okay, yeah, we were expecting Professor Oak here. I wonder when he would have expected us to show up. Okay, guess we're gonna have to look for him. There's a back door, can I use it? The door seems to be locked. By the way, do you guys like me reading the text with different voices like that? Or do you guys rather me be silent? Let me know here, because I because I like having fun with voices if I can. But if you guys don't, I'll obviously stop. Alright, so uh, let's actually try to, try to find Professor Oak. Wait, stop. Wait, is this... What do you think? What do you think you're doing? Wait. It's dangerous to go out without a Pokemon. Well, Pokemon jump out of the grass on the way to the next town. You need your own Pokemon for protection. Ah, wait. Are you perhaps? Come with me. Okay, I'll keep the voices going. Professor Oak is just back in. He's waiting to see you. Go, there you are. I can't believe this old geezer is Professor Oak. <laughs> <laughs> I love silver. I think this is blue, actually. We'll know in a moment, probably. Indeed, I am Professor Oak. You've got quite the mouth on you. Won't you listen for a while? One year ago in Kanto, I entrusted two boys with a Pokemon and a Pokedex to each assist me in my research. That's interesting, because the original Pokemon Gold and Silver, the final version of the game is actually three years after, not one year. So the time skip is much less actually here. In the end, they did an astounding job. They succeeded in documenting 150 species of Pokemon. Wait, say so they both did that? So, how the hell did Blue get two Mewtwo's? Okay. However, new Pokemon are being found all over Nihon. 
Nihon, the Japanese name for Japan, by the way, in case you're wondering. Therefore, I moved my lab from Kanto to here. Silent Town. <laughs> it's not called Silent Hill. Sad. Sad. <laughs> to further my research, my grandson Blue and my aides help here. Yep, that's Blue, actually. So yeah, or green for you. Those of you who read the manga, because I don't want to offend every anyone here. But it's not quite enough. Gold. Elf mod. <laughs> Please help me research Pokemon. Hey, gold. This just got interesting. Won't you two follow me to the back? Oh, so there is a back room we can go to. Wow, Silver just bolted there. <laughs> Look over there. On the table, there are three Pokeballs. Each of you choose one to be your own par partner Pokemon. We both get one? I get one too? Yes, of course. Go on, choose. I'll let you choose. First gold, because I'm a generous kind of guy. Okay, so let's see what's on the table here. Okay, this is an original Pokemon. This is, I think, a fire one that was probably replaced by Cyndaquil, actually. You'll take Flame Bear, the fire Pokemon. I'm not sure if this is a direct translation of the Japanese version or they just made a fan name, so don't take the names of what you hear to heart. So let's see what's here. This is probably the original version of Totodile, actually. The Totodile replaced it. Do you want Crucial? The water Pokemon. We did get a Seal Pokemon later on for a starter, I think. So yeah, if, if Generation 7, 6's, so 7's was actually one. And Chikorita. Wow, Chikorita never changed. Chikorita always was there. Okay, I, Crystal Wolf told me it is actually a direct translation of the names. Okay, so that's good to hear. Do you like Hapa, the grass Pokemon? Ah, that's Chikorita's name here. Interesting. Okay, we're going with the fire Pokemon, because I always do fire for Kanto. Or, I mean, Johto, but... Or Gen 2 in this case, because this is not just a um, Johto game. This is a whole Japan game. No one would ever... Pick Crucell ever, I guess. Wow, that'd be interesting if people pick the grass starter over the water starter in this version. I think that's a great Pokemon too. Gold received Flame Bear. Yeah. Give it give a nickname to Flame Bear you receive. So what do you guys think we should name him? Let's stay within the theme of fire if we can, by the way. Or if you can give me something hilarious you can still go for, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll wait on you guys, because this stream's, as usual, a little forward compared to what it normally should be. S I don't know how small Kanto is now, but we'll see. L Bear Fire. <laughs> Maybe? I, I like the name, L Bear Fire. Okay, so far L Bear Fire is what is recommended. Anyone else want to give me an another name? Smokey. <laughs> Smokey. Okay, I like Smokey a lot. Hmm. I think we're gonna go with Smokey, just cause the Smokey the Bear thing sounded too clever. I think I'm gonna go with that. Sorry, it's it might be a little simple for some of you guys, but this is just too clever not to do. Bet you the dub would- I bet you the translation would have actually done that. And yeah, I know Kanto's probably a lot smaller in this. I know Johto is in this too, but also smaller. This Pokemon looks much stronger. Elfmon received Crucial. And we keep thinking it's called Crucial. Crucial. Your partner Pokemon will be an important ally as well as a friend. Be sure to treat it kindly. Now, both of you should go see Blue. He has something important to give to you. You know, I just realized, Professor Elm's not in this version. Well, 
I expect the server to fight me right now, I'm amazed he didn't. Considering this game feels more like a carbon copy of Red and Blue at this moment. Ah, I see both of you got a Pokémon. Here, I have something else for you. Probably po yeah, Pokédexes. I used to want to be the world's best Pokémon trainer. But when I got too arrogant, there was someone who showed me humility. Gold, you remind me of him. And Elfmon, you remind me of myself. I feel that was actually a jab, wow. Right, though. Here, take this Pokédex. It automatically records data on the Pokémon you've seen and or caught. Viva Namita is telling me, has anyone told you you sound like Gene from Bob's Burger? So yeah, here's a revelation, guys. I am an adult Gene, uh, and I like burgers a lot. I wish. No, what I do like burgers a lot. With that, Pokedex, you're ready to begin the adventure of a lifetime. Route 101 and Silent Hills would be great places to start looking for Pokemon. If you want to get some Pokeballs, you should head towards Pagota City, near uh, nearby to pick up some some up at their mart. If your Pokemon is hurt, you should heal it with the Pokemon Center, just behind the lab. Feel free to use it anytime. This takes is just too slow. I gotta speed it up when I, after this. I'm sure you'll do great, but just in case, here's my phone number. Call me if anything comes up. Gold got Oak's phone number. Gold, Elfbon, I'm counting on you both. Alright, I'm gonna go into in here and actually just make the text a lot faster. Ah, oh, that's better. Oh, we can change it to stereo. Whoa, this is a difference. This sounds whoa. <laughs> I'm loving this. I am really loving the stereo track here. And I'm using headphones, by the way, so I can hear this very beautifully. Okay, am I gonna get a battle? Oh yeah, we're gonna have a Pokemon battle, probably. You're not getting off that easily. Oak gave us these Pokemon, so now we gotta battle them. I'm not gonna hold back. Here we go! Let's go and fight! Ah, apparently the town of Bogota we were told to go to is based on the ja on the town with Bogota shrines in Japan. That's interesting. Okay, let's face Elfmon in battle. Elfmon sends out Crucial. Go Smokey! Okay, so we got Scratch and Leer. Let's see how good my Scratch is here. Alright, not bad. But it failed, okay. We'll probably get through this very quickly, like the original game. I always love Silver's battle theme so much. It's on... There, is no, there was no stereo on the Game Boy hardware, because this was being done in the Super Game Boy. They decided to put it in stereo for some reason. I mean, I guess the demos at Space World might have been on the Super Game Boy 2 as such, just so it's easier for people to play on a on a screen rather than a Game Boy, I'm guessing. I'm not sure exactly how Space World went down for this demo, but yeah. Oh right, the Game Boy did have actually headphones that supported stereo, right. Okay, never mind, I, I was wrong there. Okay, Crucial is dead. Are we gonna level up? Nice. Hey, we got the experience meter here too. We learned Roar. That'll be useful. Wow, I thought my Pokemon would have been the best. Gold received 300. Gold, I'm ready to show the world how great my Pokemon is. I'll see you around tomorrow. Okay. Their guard getting stopped so much. The boy who brought you here is my little brother. Oh, it's May. Um, 
or I think that's the what they call them in one of the mangas. Eh, Blue's sister, that is. In other words, I'm Professor Oak's granddaughter. Grandpa's a fanatic researcher, but he can be a little forgetful. He was also supposed to give you this. Gold received potion. Gold put in yada yada yada. Pokemon's health if you're not at a Pokemon Center. I'll also throw in a few Pokeballs to help you out. Hey, you can catch Pokemon right away. But like Grandpa said, if you need more Pokeballs, you can find them at ju just about any Mart. Also, we can't have your family worrying, so make sure to say goodbye to your mom and Ken before you leave town. I'll be rooting for you. You know, I realize you you get to name everyone, but your br brother. Why the hell can't I name my brother? I mean, I don't have an actual sibling, but I imagine for people who have siblings, they would have had fun just making fun of them by giving, giving them a dorky name or something. Right, her name is actually Daisy. I remember one of those mangas I used to read for Pokemon that had her named May, like the third gen trainer, I know. Okay, let's say goodbye to him. Hey, bro. Professor Oak asked me asked you to help him make a new Pokedex. Wow, good thing you got this for you. Gold received map card. Yeah. Now your Poke Gear can help you keep track of where you are at. You'll never get lost with this. Also, guess what? I got an interview for a job at a radio DJ Westport City. Hold up, he's an older brother? What the hell? I was making fun of him for the last while. Okay. Okay, in Westport City. I could be on the radio, bro. Listen for me in the future. And good luck out there. Heck, have the little bro. If Ken was the champion, that would be actually pretty hilarious. Alright. If you end up leaving the stream, you can always watch the rest later. I'll be uploading it, of course, so don't wor don't, don't worry too much if you have to leave. Because say Crystal Wolf is waiting for the next episode of Pokemon to air in Japan right now. Heal. Hey, now. You sure look like a rookie trainer. I bet you'll be wanting to catch some Pokemon. Would you like me to show you how to catch Pokemon? Yeah, sure, why not? Let's see. Well, Rattata appeared. I don't, I don't know why I accepted. I was kind of hoping there was be something a little different here. Dude used Pokeball. <laughs> gotcha, Rattata. Okay. I mean, that was a waste of time, but I was curious if there was any difference between the, this and the final games. Pokemon are easier to catch. Okay, yada, yada. Okay, let's actually try to move ahead. Oh, I think there was nothing there, so we're gonna try to take the upper route. All right, let's see what we got here. See those ledges? It's scary to jump off, but you can't jump off. Okay, just jumping off ledges. All right, let's see what's here. Hey, the, the so remember the demo I showed earlier had nothing showing you could go through it. Yeah, they added arrows here. Nice. Dude is a great character. Yes, he is. Silent Hills. Heh. <laughs> a gathering spot for trainers. And you know, guys with big axes too. Wink, wink. Okay, let's see what our first Pokemon will be to catch. Of course, it's a Rattata. Just remember, this Pokemon could defeat Goku. The color palette says green because I don't know why it's green. Don't kill him in one shot? Okay, good. One more hit, he'll die, so I'm just gonna throw a Pokemon and hope for the best. What the? Oh, right, we have pouches here, right? I should remember that. Hey, let's see if we caught him. Yeah, we got him. 
In the final game, uh, they do taught you how to catch Pokemon. The old man was in the red and blue for those in the comments section wondering. Alright, got Rattata. Just the usual stuff. Okay, I don't care to nickname Rattata. I'm not using him, actually. These hills seem like a good place to find more bugs. Oh boy, bug catcher, here we go. Our first chain. Bug Catcher Dawn wants to battle. Bug Catcher Dawn sends out Paris. I wish I had a fire attack. I really do. Oh well. Yeah, the final game wasn't green. This is just because... I don't know. Because they, they are clearly using many different color palettes that are meant to go beyond the Game Boy's power here. But, um... They were still sticking to one tone like the original games for each town and route, apparently. To SMP12 who's commenting here, thank you very much for discovering this channel and glad you enjoy everything. Yeah, I'll be having a new cut content episode come in on Zelda actually next week uh, as planned, so stay tuned for that if you're a Zelda fan. Or if you're just interested in Zelda s or in the cut content. Okay, that was an easy match. Just a p yeah, this is I guess kind of slow in how it plays, but it is a an early build of the game after all. A hack of an early build of the game, because you can't beat the original demo as we demonstrated earlier in this. Wow, we got 99 people watching. What the hell did this go up so much? Heck. Thank you so much for all being here. Okay, uh, we're at the dead end. Is there any way to go further? No, but looks like we can keep going. Oh, you are a cute little trainer. I like you, but I won't hold back. Is this a beauty or a lass? Let's see. Nope, it's a beauty. Or lass. No, it's a lass. Right, this is what lass sprites look like. Meowsy. Okay, so here's the pre-evolution of Meowth. I've showed this in a cut content episode for the Gen 1 version of this, actually. He again appears in Gen 2, for those of you who are wondering, and then was cut again. Yeah, I think, I, I mean, considering the amount of I mean, I really definitely gotta should do the streams more. I just was trying to fix out a lot of um, technical glitches, which looks like we have because we would go do solid this uh, stream, not a single technical glitch. So it looks like I finally kink fixed all the kink kinks in this. So if you want to find the prototype, you gotta Google it. I can't put a link here because Nintendo might nuke my channel or sue me even, and I'm poor. I can't have them sue me. And we got a regular Meowth. He evolved early. It must be a happiness thing, I'm guessing, for him to evolve. Robinski4, thank you for watching my videos. Gen 1 Pokemon definitely has a lot of uh, po lost Pokemon. Gen 2 is a gold mine too. I'll plan to make a whole episode just on the cut Pokemon, like I did for Gen 1, and you'll see how crazy it is for Gen 2 as well. Honestly, both of them are crazy with how much they have going for them. Okay, let's go on here and see what's next. Okay, let's see We're, if we can catch anything new. Please don't be a Rattata, please don't be a Rattata. Oh, it's a Farfetch'd. A female Farfetch'd at that. Okay, let's try to catch it. Oh wait, I think this version, I think in this game actually Farfetch'd does evolve. I might train this Farfetch actually. Heck, let's go for it. Let's catch him and make him a part of our team. I can't hit him attacking him again. He might die. Or she might die. 
Hey, we got him. Oh no, I don't think Nintendo will sue me for playing unreleased version. It's if I give a link out to get it is what I'm worried about. And Nintendo does some crazy things if you put out a link, put out a ROM for people or whatever. They took out a whole... They sued a whole ROM website for millions and millions of do dollars, actually. I'm not gonna risk anything like that with Nintendo. <laughs> Alright. So let's give this Farfetch a name, because I want to have him on my team. I don't know if he'll be permanently there, but let's give him a name. And it's a female, just heads up in case you want to give this bird a more feminine name. Yeah, I believe the evolution of this Farfetch in this version is a Pokemon called Medamu. So yeah, let's go with a name here. Okay, so I'm just waiting up for a name because the stream's always way slower than me actually playing here. Farfish, Hatsune Miku. I don't think I'll fit in here. I would, but but I'll name her Miku. Yeah, let's go. I mean, yeah. I don't think Hatsune will fit in here at all. Maybe I'll we'll just call her H Miku. How about that? Let's go for H Miku. By the way, I, I also am a big Vocaloid fan. So um Yeah, to my other to my Vocaloid fans is here. Props to you all for loving that good series. I've been playing I played Mega Mix to death um last year. Let's go. Here's Hatsune Miku. Heh <laughs> Let's train Hatsune Miku, actually, and put her at the forefront. Whoops. I should remember the controls. Okay, level 3, so this is gonna be... ...interesting. Well, crap. I hope it's gonna survive a Pokemon Trainer battle, at least. I hope this Pokemon Trainer is stupid weak. Wow, this is a beta gym sp uh, beta trainer sprite. I've never seen this before. Fledgling Clayton wants to battle. Let's go. Okay, they're just saying Tangle. Here's the pre-evolution of Tangle. -a. So yeah, let's go here. At least it's easy for Miku to peck it. I love with all the names you guys are giving for these uh, here. I'm having too much fun with this, honestly. Oh boy, Miku's almost dead. Should I risk it? Nah, uh, yeah, we'll change back to uh, Smokey. And Whoa! Ring Ring! It's a another beta Pokemon. I love the amount that there are here, actually. All right, let's scratch it to death. A bear versus a cat, who would win? No, seriously, who would win that in real life? All right, and... We almost hit level nine. You're tough. Okay, let's heal Miku here, because I need to train up Miku. I wonder how to even evolve Miku. Is it happiness? Is it just ev regular evolution? Is it a stone? Guess we'll find out! Person- uh, Another Farfetch. So, Miku versus a Farfetch. Let's, let's just attack it just to gain some experience at least here. Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. That that farfetch is faster too. I'm gonna need to heal. And a critical attack, man. All right, we're healing here. Oh boy, I'm almost out of potions. Heck. Okay, let's hope I can do this here. Let's kill it. Ugh! Okay. Let's hope we survive this attack so we can actually... Oh god, that's razor thin. Uh, 
And to Hanfo who entered here, Salam Alakum. This is actually a really nice Farfetch back sprite. Is this actually different from the final games? Because I I don't remember Farfetch being this memorable. Okay, I I probably can't use this Farfetch to battle anymore. So let's give Miku a rest while she prepares for her next song and puts Smokey at the forefront. Next trainer battle. There's a lot of trainers here, I gotta say. Haven't seen you around here. So, you think you're pretty tough. Young Sir Albert wants to fight. Oh, this is a uh, pre-evolution to Nine Tails, Tri Tails. Ha. Ember. At least it won't be very effective against me. Only one damage, so that works. I hope it'll fade here, by the way. If there, because there's a lot of trainers to face. Yeah. Level. Oh good, we're back in the green again. Oh, not... Did it, oh, the original game didn't change color when your health bar went down, did it? Ha! Huh. Right, I meant the Vulpix, right. The child version of Vulpix, not Ninetales. My mistake. I did the 1997 uh, prototype earlier, actually. It just it ends so damn quickly, I decided to use the ROM hack that let us explore more of the game as such. So we're just playing it as this here to, and see what we can explore, cause, uh, yeah. Yeah, so if you guys want to see the actual Space World demo, it will be at the beginning of this video once I upload it, so you can see that then. But yeah, we then went straight on to playing the hacked version that lets you play the game from start to finish. I'm gonna save just to make sure here. Okay. Okay, good. We're at the end here. Let's see. North to the exit. Continue to Pagota Town. Hey, here's our first town. Let's go. Alright. I like reading signposts in case you're wondering. Trainer's tip. No stealing other people's Pokemon. Pokeballs are to be thrown only at wild Pokemon. Hey, you can't tell me anything. I'm going to join Team Rocket in one of these days. I probably could have avoided it if I went around her. My Chix is the cutest in the world. Okay, let's see what Pokemon Chix is here. Yeah, I didn't have a walkthrough wall glitch here, so I didn't. Whoa! This is a dominatrix teacher! Whew! Look at her sprite! Just look at it! Yeah, I know, I'm being thirsty as hell here, but um. Look at it! Oh, it's, I think, a pre-evolution of Doduo. I think. But yeah. I know, either way, to all the kids who are here watching it, I'm sorry for what I thought about that teacher. I can't see why the teacher was removed. This is too much for kids. There, God, are we gonna survive this? Look, we might black out and go to the last Pokemon Center. If we're unlucky here, because I ran out of potions, unfortunately. Ugh. Dear God, this is razor thin. Oh God, we made it through. Okay. I'm gonna avoid every trainer between here and later if there's any more I can. This teacher, I can see why eh, she now holds that whip. I got whipped hard here, but I still survived. Okay. Okay. Oh god, is red gonna face me here? I mean, is blue gonna face- Silver gonna face me here? Sorry. 
Okay, we're gonna die here. I know we're gonna die probably, unless I can one-shot everything or near or non-attack stuff from here. Oh, there's a Pokemon Center in the original town, I believe. So we're gonna see if we're gonna get teleported there. So we'll see what happens if I die. I really don't have another potion, do I? Dear God, I don't. Okay! Let's see what happens. Yeah, I didn't know how to access the debug mode of the Space World prototype. So, we're playing this. I mean, this gives us still an access to see all the towns and everything. So, why the hell not? Oh boy, sleep, low HP. We're gonna die here. We're gonna die, guys. And then we're gonna have to walk up here. At least we've beaten all the trainers along the way. This is a slow death, too. Dear God. Oh, it's just that time. Okay, the only way we'll die... I might survive this if I'm lucky. Let's see. We actually survived this! Wow! But there's two more Pokemon, so we're probably screwed. Okay, let's see what happens here. Oh god, no wonder why this... why it's actually a bit difficult here. This is actually made to made on purpose to be more difficult. I mean, I'm a veteran Pokemon player playing playing since Gen 1, but I was not expecting that. Wow. So we're going to have to grind definitely a bit more than normal. Also, how the hell are we surviving this on 1 HP so far? Last Pokemon. Can we do it? It's a Meowzy, so maybe. May I... Let's see what happens. F. F. Oh god. Okay, Miku, you're up. Cause I'm I'm screwed otherwise. Please be faster. Please be faster. Nope, we're 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 boned. We're boned. This meows is killing us. Okay, Ratata, do what you can before we are totally wiped out. If this does it... Nope, we're probably gonna be boned. Gold is out of that usable Pokemon. Gold whited out. F. Well, we got teleported home again. We'll walk back up there. We'll put Miku at the forefront, by the way. We're gonna train her up. Oh, that's okay. It's it's meant it apparently made as a difficult hack of the Space World demo. So we'll just speed along to where we were. So no worries, guys. Yeah, I know. I tried, might I can. Yeah, I probably could have used. I'm guessing some of the moves that could uh, that would actually lower their attack or whatever. But I usually don't. I usually don't think of that when I'm that low in HP. I think. I'm also not a competitive Pokemon player. Oh right, this, this is the wrong path here. I used to actually play competitive Pokemon, but um, those days are kind of behind me. It's just too much work, honestly. Hell, I used to talk competitive of everything. I used to be in competitive Smash, competitive Soul Calibur. I just now just play games because I'm in my 30s and I'm trying to just enjoy video games and make videos for you guys here while working a full-time job. Let's grind. Let's go. Let's grind here. All right, Miku. Show, show, show them that the world is yours. Ah, interesting. So Glitch Hunter 09 has been talking about how the demo we used has a debug mo version that I don't have access to apparently. Yeah, so we couldn't access that earlier. So what we got earlier was just the demo ending prematurely, because we reached the end of the demo. So we're playing this hacked version, of course, which lets us play the game from start to finish in, a sto in what uh, probably will let us see everything that was in the demo anyways. And apparently there was a skateboard in the, in the demo too. Okay, we're just about back to where we were. 
Wait. Okay, yeah, let's face this. Yeah, I should get the debug mode. Maybe I'll do another stream just for a debug later on, but I do want to continue with this uh, playthrough of here too in, in streams as well, so... Maybe we'll visit the debug version of that later on down the road too. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll do it as a way to end the Pokemon Gold and Silver um, ones here. But I might... Now this hacked version you can find on Google in case you're wondering here. Um, just type in Pokemon Gold and Silver Space World 1997 demo in English and it'll pop up somewhere. You'll find it. It's it's pretty damn faithful to the um, debug. It just lets gives you access to the rest of the game and with ease. So you can play from start to finish. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to even my levels right now, which is why I make I'm training. Hatsune Miku here. I guess I could have switched trained, that's true. Oh well. Also, I'm not training Radata. Radata is just there for the sake of being there. Radata is going to be deposited to the PC once I get something else to replace it. Because I never cared for the Radata line. Honestly. Oh, interesting. There's a 1999 Space World build too, and has different Pokemon in it. We're really getting to learn a lot about the gold and silver uh, beta stuff from this stream alone here. From my, from people watching this and from this demo here too. So, we won't be making good cut content episodes on this stuff very soon, it seems. Best part is I could use a lot of this footage for the cut content episodes this way too. It's beautiful. Okay. Let's go rematch with Meowzy here, who just somehow wiped my whole damn team, because I was too weak then. Alright, Miku, let's... Yikes, this Meowth is just yikes. Okay. Yeah, let's do the trick. Let's switch to Smokey and go for it from there. Alright, let's um, fight this Meowzy here and try to defeat him with my strong one. This thing's actually pretty strong, surprising for a pre evolution of Meow. By the way, I gotta say thank you so much, uh, Glitch Hunter 09, for providing all this information in the chat here. It's really giving us a good insight on it. A lot of the stuff that is available for this to look into. And yeah, we're, I'm just starting to look into the gold and silver stuff coming out sooner or later. I'm trying to finish up the Zelda Ocarina of Time ones before I go to that. Which will be done soon, actually. And of course, I got other cut content stuff. I got a Sonic the Hedgehog one coming soon, actually. Okay, I think we're gonna face gold. I mean, s silver, so let's save just in case. Okay, here we go. Gold. You made it out of Silent Hills! Dear God, I... I wasn't sure you could do it. I already caught some super awesome Pokémon. You better stay on top of your game if you want to keep up with me. Anyway, see ya! Oh shit, he did do the, the, the Gary Oak thing of attacking you when you're down. Wow. Silver's actually nicer than Den Blue. Wow. Alright, so let's keep going. Let's see what's next here. So we're in the town of Pagota City. This music sounds familiar for those of you who remember your gold and silver tracks. Timeless A is above. Timeless A is the stars above. You're almost still a dick, by the way, in this game, too, considering how much he insults you early on, too. So let's see, what's here actually? I wanna go to the Pokemon Center and Pokemon if I can. Oh yes, Pokemon Center. Dear God, do I need this. Every time I'm in a Pokemon Center, 
and I s hear the Pokemon Center theme in any game, I just feel so damn relaxed. I hope you all do too, because this is the most relaxing thing ever. The serotonin I get from this track. Pokemon are fully healed. We hope to see you again. All right, let's see what we got here, actually. Is there anything interesting in my PC? I actually never checked it. Bill's PC. It seems it's already Bill's PC from the get-go. Do I have anything look positive? No. Well, let's see if I have an item in here. Nope. I know... I remember there was a potion in Gen 1 in your PC originally, but yeah. Guy named Bill made the Pokemon PC storage. Okay. Let's see what's upstairs, actually. I'm guessing it's the trade centers and everything here. Ah, yeah, all the trade stuff, which we can't do in this build. Including the time machine, I think, here, too. Yeah, I got a Discord channel, actually. Um, if you go into my profile on um, eh, on the Obsessive Gamer YouTube page, you'll see the, um, the link to it. Just go there, and you can join. You can chat with us and everything. Yeah, we have fun there. I recommend you guys also join, because it's a fun Discord channel. Alright, let's see what's here. Is there a gym here or anything? Actually, where the hell's a Pokemon? I need stuff. I need so much stuff. Bill's... Oh shit, Bill lives here. Let's visit Bill. This is Bill, I guess. Oh, you collect Pokemon? My son's Bill is an expert. Oh, this is Bill's mother. I'm guessing this is Bill's sister. Are you a trainer? I've got a useful phone number for you. Yes. Hey, I got Bill's number. Time to stalk him. My big brother Bill made the PC Pokemon storage system. Let's call Bill. Let's have fun here. Okay, um... Oh, we're right. Alright, so here's the world map, by the way. This is literally the map of Japan, by the way, that you were using then. So yeah, in case some of you were wondering, um... And yeah, whoops. I'm trying to show you what's... Damn it. Okay, I'm trying to go around... Wow, okay, I'm trying to move around. Okay, so we're seeing what's here, actually, in this... And yeah, we're seeing... A lot of places I'm not familiar with. But yeah, this is literally just Japan. Here, that they base this off here. Which is why it's called Nihon. Nihon, the Japanese name for Japan, of course. Blue Forest... Wait. Look at that! Blue got a whole forest name after himself. Man. So imagine if this was actually... Hey, the Kanto region's actually here, too. And... I'm guessing Johto is probably the town that's next to it right here somewhere. So yeah, Crown City, which probably is that, actually. Oh, yes. Just imagine, though, if we got, um... If we actually got this map of Japan instead, we would never get the Sinnoh games, the Hoenn games, they'd be completely different maps because all of Japan would have been already concise in this one game. So let's call Bill and see what he says. Oh, I know, it's a downsized Kanto. I already kind of have an idea of what's in this demo. I've already looked at some of the maps, so I know what's here. And some of the leaked Pokemon, too. Good evening, this is the Pokemon Monster... and uh, Pokemon Storage System. Administration Service. Who's calling? Gold, is it? Hang on a second. Thanks for waiting. Gold, your box has room for 20 more Pokemon. Get out there and fill it up. Oh. I see Bill's phone is automated because people like to be stalking too much. Yeah, it's an English patch, but it's a hack that lets you actually also beat it. So it's not a pure demo of the, of what was it, Space World, but it lets you play it as what it could have been in this case. As everything is unlocked and you can play from start to finish. Yeah, and I'm commenting on people in the in the comment section in the um chat here, of course. All right, let's see what else is in this town. I'm trying to find the Poke Mart for one. Well, what's here? Is that Sprout Tower? Cause that looks tower-like. Oh, it's it, oh, it's the gym. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna need some potions, so we're definitely gonna look for um some a Poke Mart to try to find something here. Okay, that looks like Sprout Tower on over here too. Yeah, I guess this. Yeah, I guess this town is uh, resembles Violet City a lot more like the original. So not too much has changed, technically. I mean, there is a lot of changes, like Bill being here and the shape of the town. 
But yeah. Alright, let's buy a crap ton of potions. Okay, I can't afford that, but... Uh, let's go for five potions, why don't we? Okay, let's see how many Pokeballs we have left. I don't actually know. Uh, let's just buy... Two Pokeballs, why not? Okay, we're good. Okay, if you want... Okay, as... G as being asked... Okay, is that someone... Who, as James uh, Ford is asking here, if you want to find this demo, look on Google, si type in Pokemon Gold and Silver 1997 um, Space World demo, English, and you'll find a link somewhere there linking you to this hack version of it that lets you play from start to finish. So you could do that and go through and see it there if you want. I can't post it because Nintendo might hit me with a ban hammer. Oh. Oh. My mother's calling me. Or Hello. Gold, I heard from Professor Oak that you went on a long trip. I wish you had told me. What about money? Should I save it? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, I'll save your money. Gold, keep it up. I'm rooting for you, baby. Click. I was I was worried for seeing the game froze when it did that. <laughs> Yikes. Alright, let's go and now go to face Faulkner in his... Oh, it's not a tower, actually. It's just a very Japanese-looking structure. Ah, let's go. I hate to tell you this, but he's not here. Son of a... Ugh. Of course they would do this. Maybe look around town for him. He couldn't have gone far. Has Silver beat him yet? Let me check first. No, he hasn't. Yeah. Alright, let's look for Silver. He's probably in one of these houses. They're playing Pokemon and Pokemon, just just as a heads up here. Alright, there was a school I remember in the original game too, right? Uh, yeah, we earlier named the, the, the Mother Elf Mom. Because we had the Mies version of this game. Okay, there's definitely no um, silver here. Let's see, maybe down here. There's an odd house right here. Kurt's house. Oh, Kurt? Wait, that Kurt? Huh. Oh. He lives here? Because Kurt was in Azalea Town originally, not in Violet Town. Well, who might you be? Gold? Hmm, what brings you here? Well, I'm sh sure it's because I'm not where I should be right now. I'll get back to the gym so you can challenge me for a badge. Hmm? You're not taking the Pokemon League challenge. What brings you to Pagoda Town? Pagoda City. Wow, it's very impressive that you, that Professor Oak has asked you to go out and help him research Pokemon, but I see the glimmer in your eye. If you feel the urge to start your own League challenge, feel free to stop by to take on. Anyways, I'll be on my way now. I heard I hope I'll see seeing you soon. Well, here's Kurt, the guy who makes you Pokeballs from Apricorn. I could tell when you walked in the room, you have great potential as a trainer. Faulkner could tell as well. I strongly suggest you take the League Challenge while traveling. But apart from that, I want to help you with your research by providing you with something that can help you catch Pokemon. But I request that you prove yourself first. Pagoda City's five floor tower is a sacred place where I spent many years strengthening my understanding of the relationship between people and Pokemon. I ask that you climb this tower, do this, then return to me. Interesting with Kurt, he's... I hope I get the GS ball by the way. I'm not sure if it's in the demo, but I hope I just get the GS ball. Get, make my childhood dream come true, get the GS ball. Alright, let's face uh, Falconer now. I guess that was a good way to actually pat it in just so you can see Kurt. Good job on this hack. Alright, let's go and face uh, Falconer. I'm gonna save just to be safe here. And I have Miku at the forefront just because I want to grind Miku. And yeah, we got the, we're gonna go into the beta Sprout Tower after this, so yeah. 
Let me see if you are good enough to face Faulkner. Good thing is, I've got Miku, which is a bird type, so... I mean, a, not a bird type, that was a beta name from Gen 1. Flying type, who can at least keep up with all the other birds here. Oh yeah, I guess GS Ball wouldn't be in this yet. On this day, we're planning to cut it and then return it. Heckin', that was a lot! Okay, switching Pokemon. Oh, I've got three Pokemon. I'm happy with with what I have right now. Yeah, I know the Virtual Console version of Crystal lets you have the GS Ball. I mean, I haven't played that version. I kind of should just to get that experience finally of getting the GS Ball legitimately. Especially since my Gold and Crystal carts are dead now thanks to the battery being dead. Yikes! I'm gonna need to go with heal instantly after this match. Walkner's tra trainers are not kidding around. Damn you, Abe, and your overly powerful Sparrow. Alright, do healing. I know I don't train enough. I probably should grind because this is actually made to be a kind of hard too, comparison to what the actual game was. So let's heal. Uh. <laughs> Interesting, yeah, bird type could have been a dex category, maybe. But, yeah, maybe, I'll, maybe I should look into that one day and make an episode just on bird type one day. Alright, let's go and try the next trainer with Miku at the forefront again. Man, look at that. Look at Falcon's trip. He has like a giant castle with bridges here. One small slip and you die. The key word is guts. Those here are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Aha! Bird type returns. Alright, hopefully it won't be as tough as the last one. Okay, Rod, what are you gonna send out? A Pidgey. Okay, at least it looks like I got kind of a chance here. I wish I knew more than just Peck here. Okay, we're doing kind of okay right now. Okay, we're actually gonna survive this this time. Alright, yeah. Show them that the world is yours, Miku. Another Pidgey. Alright. Heckin' critical hits. Alright. Off up to you, Smokey. Here we go. I hope we at least see some beta Pokemon at least for this first challenge, or is it gonna just be Pidgeys and Sparrows and whatever? Okay, we're gonna not go... Okay, Faulkner. We're gonna go and heal! We're gonna go and heal. I have a fast forward by the button, by the way. <laughs> Just to... Okay... I think we're gonna face Faulkner. I almost feel like I'm gonna be defeated just because regular trainers are kind of tough already as is. Let's go face Falconer before we go to the beta version of the Sprout Tower. I wonder if Falconer's gonna have any beta Pokemon on him. Well, let's save because in case we mess up in a stupid way, we could at least reset. 
and not lose half my money. I knew you'd be showing up here sometime soon. It's always great to see a new Pokemon trainer on the league. But are you ready to take me on? I'll show you the real power of the Magnificent Bird Pokemon. I'm still amazed they're calling a bird here and not flying type. Faulkner. He looks different, doesn't he? I think he, his sprite looks a lot different. I don't remember his original sprite too well, but I think this... I don't remember looking like this at all. Yeah, I know, the stream is buffering a little bit. I don't know why. Refresh if it's giving you a problem, by the way. Heads up. Alright, let's see what he got. He got another Pidgey. Alright, give him hell, Miku. Go full Zenbone Zakura on it. Oh boy. We're not gonna survive this. Okay, Smokey, you're just gonna take charge for everything here. I feel we're gonna die and we're gonna have to go and grind a bit. I feel that's what's probably gonna happen with this. Yeah, bird. It's interesting that bird type still is in data here. Alright. Yeah, Miku leveled up again. And with sand attack. Okay, what, what's the last Pokemon? Pidgeotto! I'm gonna try to sand attack it and hopefully I won't get killed in the process. Okay, let's hope for the best. And survive, survive, survive. Oh, good. Maybe I could blind it with sand attack enough so that I don't die. Nope, that didn't work. Okay! Smokey you up. It's it's up to you. I'm gonna leer it just to just to see if I could at least get it to have a weaker attack. Or defense, right. Oh good, sand attack came in and made his attack miss. Let's see if this can work in my favor now. Oh good god, sand attack is actually work, be useful for a change. Sir, oh. Don't die. Okay, potion time. I'm glad I bought some. Yeah, Smokey is big brother to Miku. Smokey also doesn't like that when Miku dates Kaito. If you guys are into that stuff for Vocaloids. Oh, finally a fire attack! Ugh. Yeah, we got our first badges, guys! Whew! Darn, my dad cherished birds per Pokemon. Alright, take this. It's the official Pokemon League Zephyr badge. And I received a thousand and mo some sent to mom. Yeah, Zephyr badge earned. I think as a child called the Zephyr badge. But yeah. It's TM31. Okay, and I learn. Oh, it's Mud Slap. I should remember TMs are are not like the modern game where T um they can be used multiple times. So I gotta use this wisely. Maybe I'll 
Let's see it. Now, let's see if, uh, what's, what's your name? Miku could eat, learn it. Because Miku could use another attack. Yes, Miku could learn it. Yeah. Oh, by the way, if in case you're wondering, it didn't actually stop. I just had to quickly go and refresh my uh, stream because it was buffering too. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Gold. I hope you and Elfmon are doing well. I've sent one of my aides out to the Pagota City Pokemon Center. If you've got a moment, could you meet him there? Thanks. Okay, we're gonna go next for the, um, for the Pokemon, uh, Beta Sprout Tower and see how, what's that all about. Let's heal my Pokemon first before talking to the aid. Okay, what's the aid say? Gold, it's long time no see. Professor Rose asked me to find you. He has another favor to ask. Would you take this Pokemon egg? It would benefit our research to learn a bit more about how baby Pokemon interact with other Pokemon and how this affects their growth. So could you please keep this egg with you? Yes. So, how many of you want to guess this is a Togepi? What's in the egg? Well, we thought we'd keep that a surprise. I'm sure it could be helpful. Addition to your party. Consider it a gift. Also, did you hear that Bill is in town? If you don't know, Bill created the PDC storage system. He's highly respected among Pokemon researchers. You should pay him a visit before you got a chance. Anyways, I'm off. See you around. Hello. Hello, Void EM, for coming to this. Thank you so much. Lugia and Ho are in the demo. I mean, considering they're both on a title screen, I'm not surprised. They, they better be. Let's visit Bill first, because he's back in town. Yeah, here he is. Hello! Well, now, allow me to introduce myself. I am Bill. I made the Pokemon system that Pokemon used to store Pokemon in. I hope you find it useful. If you're planning to travel on uh, traveling around through, I have something else that you may find useful. Won't you take it, please? Gold received HM01. Oh, damn. We're receiving all these things at once. Cut allows you to chop. Oh shit! We can cut now. That was quick. I probably could teach that also to the Farfetch. But do I want to make it an HM slave? Probably not. I'm gonna teach it just to a Pokemon that's more worth, more useless, like Rattata, if I can learn it. Let's hope Rattata can learn it. No, we can't. <laughs> well. Try to catch something else that can maybe learn it. I hope I can find an HM slave. All right, we're gonna now try to attempt a uh, Sprout Tower over here. Oh crap, we do actually. Okay, guess we're gonna do that. We're gonna teach Cut to a Pokemon. We'll teach it to Miku. Okay, slave Miku, let's go. Okay, we're gonna go in. Actually, let's see what this says here. Five Floor Tower. Experience the way of Pokemon. Five Floor Tower, what a unique name. And what's this? Earl's Art House. Hey, there's an art house here too. Heck. Alright, let's try this tower out. Alright, let's face one of the guys in the tower. And there's no beam in the middle, so this is definitely not the normal Sprout Tower we're familiar with. No one knows, but it once served as a nest for the, a bird of legends. Ah, uh, is this where we're gonna face Hollow later? Maybe it is. Sage Troy, what an English name for a Japanese man, wants to fight, wants to battle. Sage Troy sends out Pidgey. Go Hatsune Miku. 
Ooh, we actually got a lot of attacks for a change now. Heck. Alright, let's try Mud Slap, because that's because making Pokemon miss is fun always. Alright, oh, ground attack! Why don't I forget that? Oh god, let's cut it instead. Don't die, Miku. Don't die, Ami. Yeah. Alright, one more Pokemon. Hoot Hoot. Yeah, I guess we'll switch. We're dying here. So, go Smokey. Hoot Hoot does actually go kind of different, I think, in this version. I don't remember. But I can't put my finger on what. I need. I'm not comparing it. I don't have anything open to compare sprites to right now, so yeah. Alright, we'll Ember it. I feel if this is where a legendary bird is supposed to have been, I'm guessing maybe they had the Sprout Tower and the Burn Tower as one tower originally, or the Tin Tower rather. I mean. So maybe this is what it's gonna be here. But yes, Cut was useful on Miku. It actually did decent damage. Alright! Yay, okay. Oh, by the way, notice the sprite has the pearl beads on him. Yeah, they, the final game had it too, but it was censored in the West, in case you're wondering. Alright, we're gonna heal Miku right now, because I want to keep using Miku for a bit. We got potions, we got money, we can buy them. Alright, so let's see. What's the signs? I wonder if every tr every one of these monks are gonna face you off. Here we express grati our gratitude to honor all Pokemon. Ah yes, yeah, so normal Hutu did lack freckles according to Mio Serena. Yeah, I thought that might have been it, I wasn't sure. Say Chow, at least this name is more suitable. Oh, heck yeah, Miku's gonna have a fun time with this one with using Peck. Almost OTK'd it. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, those pearl beads on these monks were censored for the religious reasons since Nintendo didn't allow religion in their games at that time. So, yeah. Oh, like now, you know, we have games like Bayonetta appearing on um, Nintendo consoles that have references to angels in them, for example. Alright, Pre-Evolution of Paris is here, too. This is another one we haven't seen yet. So, yeah, let's peck it to death. Wow! <laughs> Miku is just wrecking things now. The world is truly becoming hers now. I'm starting to see why they might have called this the, the Sprout Tower. I'm guessing there's probably going to be a lot of Bell Sprout and many teams here as, as we go forward. Ah, apparently Lugia was not in this uh, demo originally, according to Glitch Hunter 09, as Lugia was made in 1999 for the movie. So it's only Ho-Oh right now that represents this game. I guess Ho-Oh would have been what Mewtwo was to Gen 1 in this case as the one big uh, legendary rather than there being two legendaries for each version at that point. Thank you. Alright, let's grab... Hack! <laughs> All these monks just want to wreck you, it seems. It is our responsibility to take the time to stop and listen. Say Jin wants to fight. So they're all having uh, Eastern names, except for that one named Sage Troy. We literally have a Weeaboo in this tower. K 
came in here probably not even religious, just actually being in this tower because he wants to be uh, the Japanese aesthetic around him. Because some people do that apparently, actually. Or maybe he was actually a Westerner who was Buddhist working here. I hope it was the latter, rather than trying to disrespect these people. Oh right, the pre-evolution of Growlithe, right, I just noticed what I'm fighting here. Yeah, apparently Lugia is not in this game, uh, as I'm answering awesome dude 70, 777. And this is a... I think ground attacks will probably work best on it. Super effective, but super weak, wow. Okay. Ah yes, I meant the second Pokemon movie, um, it was... Lugia was made for earlier. Yay, Mika's really g getting up there. Do you hear? Alright. Uh, paralysis heal. Okay, there's one more monk here. I probably am gonna face. Yep, yep. Five Floor Tower was built many centuries ago. It is our due, our honor to keep sacred this place. Sage Nico wants to battle. Another Japanese name. Rinrang. This beta of cat's Pokemon returns. I love that name. Rinrang. I know these are probably just a lot of some of these might even be names they made for this. I'm not sure exactly. I know some are actually direct translations and some are just made up for this hack. So don't take the name 100% too hard because I'm not sure right now. I'll be doing a cut content episode on all the cut Pokemon eventually, so you'll know what's what. Grime B. Hmm. Is this what I'm thinking it is? Ha! Huh. A baby Grimer. A small piece of sludge as opposed to a big one. And it's hardening too. Man, this person just has a lot of baby Pokemon it seems. Alright, what's next? Oddish. Okay, we got something familiar here. Let's see what uh, uh, how Oddish will be. At least it'll be an easy kill for us here. A one, t a one turn kill, in fact. Hey, we level ten with with Miku. We've come a long way with Miku. Seven levels up, actually. All right. Actually, did I read that sign? I don't remember. Alright, so I, I know I skipped through that a lot, but apparently it tells us to read the signs often. Okay. Okay, so we got a... There's a Pikachu statue over there. Can I, I can't analyze it yet, because we have these priestesses here. Who are going to fight us now. And they expand like crazy. So, fun fact. This uh, Pearl Beat here was also censored in the final game. It's English version, because... Religious reasons. So yeah, Media Martha. Ah, another white person being a monk here. Yeah, I can't see why they turned this into the Sprout Tower. There's a lot of Bell Sprouts clearly here, and they just. Yeah, yeah, maybe I'll catch an Oddish and turn it into a Blossom later on in the game if I find one. Depending on what typings we're missing, of course. I usually like to make my team cover any type of typing. We'll see. We'll see what we're missing later on. And go from there. Uh, 
All right. Uh, baby Tangela is being ta baby Tangela here. Your purpose is clear. All right, moving on. I'm probably gonna face all four of these priestesses. And oh, right, there's right in the Pokemon in this tower. Right. Oh heck. Heck, look at this ghost Pokemon. Heck. We are near Silent Hills, by the way, in case you guys forgot. So Michael. Uh, Gazola is asking how much of the content was added by ROM hackers. So, from what I understand, the story was a bit more streamlined to fit in, uh, and apparently all the routes were connected to actually make a proper path. But the only thing that was truly added in was, is apparently a post-game map that they added in here. So let's catch this ghost. I hope I don't kill it in one hit. I'm gonna use my weakest attack and... Okay. When... Is this a... Ah, crap. Critical hit. Oh well, at least Miku leveled up. Actually, is Miku the same level as Smokey now? Let's check, because I might lead Smokey a bit. Now one more level. I'll train her up a little bit more before I switch out permanently. Let's see. Let's see what the sign says here. This is a statue of a Pikachu. Pikachu reminds us that even the most popular of Pokemon still deserves to be treated with honor and respect and not just viewed as some sort of sta status symbol. Ha. Huh. Okay, let's grab this item. But then we of course have to do another Pokemon battle. Medium Bethany wants to fight. Ha! Huh. Guess there's no Japanese names in these parts. And they're using Ghost Pokemon now too at that. Okay, at least Peck works. Wait, Hypnosis? Oh right, normal type. This is... Wait. Why isn't Hypnosis working? Isn't Hypnosis a psychic move normally? Not a, not a ghost move? That's weird. Oh, never mind, it just missed. It's not that it didn't work. It is still a psychic move. F. Alright, let's see if we can wake up. Well. Alright, let's hope we can wake up soon at least. Okay. Dear God, this is taking his time. So, so in the meantime, while this is leaving, Glitch Hunter 09 is saying, Grass also behaves as solid objects and routes outside of the demo area due to format change from earlier builds. Basically, yeah, it's, um... Yeah, basically, in the original demo, which is a hack that lets you stream that streamline that lets it make it playable, it was kind of unplayable because of that so you had to use a walkthrough wall glitch to get through walkthrough wall debug mode I mean I've always wonder how why peck on ghost actually worked actually oh finally we're awake dear god that took forever yeah hmm all right Let's try to get this item. What is this? X accuracy. Yeah, um, okay. A ghastly. I guess I'll catch a ghastly. Hang on. Alright, oh, Poke X is crossed off. Right, I have to remember what I had crossed off there. Alright, let's try to catch a ghastly. Hopefully, I won't one shot it. Too late for that. Okay, let's face this one here. They put a lot of trainers on each floor, I gotta say here. There's five floors of it. 
Medium Grace wants to battle. Yeah, they gave up on the Japanese names. Twins. So, I think this is a pre evolution What? Is this a pre- Oh, right, this is a pre-evolution to Giraffe Egg. Right. So, yeah, Giraffe Egg originally had two heads rather than just a head and a tail. And then this was this pre-evolution. Yeah. So, yeah. Is this a ghost type? That's what I'm curious about. Or is this just a dark type? I'm not sure. Yeah! Alright, now we're tied with Smokey in level. So we're gonna now switch to Smokey, because we're gonna try to... ...even out the le bring up the levels of it. And we're not training Rattata, for those of you wondering. I don't think it's Baby Ghastly, actually, because... Three, three levels are actually, um... Yeah, three, three evolutions are, as usual, the limit. So, yeah. I, I remember reading this a while back that it was a pre-evolution of Giraffe Rig because it had two heads. Yeah, okay, let's finish Rin Rang and move on. I mean, I could be wrong too about that, but that's what I vaguely remember. This was two years ago when I checked this stuff out. It's been a while. Wow, we can't even breathe there. The other one just came and attacked. Ah, you disturbed me. Ah, knew it. I was correct. Twins is the pre-evolution of Giraffe Rig. Alright, let's see. What are we fighting? Just an oddish. Easy victory for Hatsune Miku. Give them the old Zenbon Zakura. Alright, we're done the second floor by this logic then, so we can now move on to the third floor of the Sprout Tower. Or the Five Floor Tower as it's called in this... What a simple name. They really... this is really a beta. Okay, so switch it to... There you go. There was Smokey at the forefront for a bit. Oh boy, here we go. A bunch of angry old men here. I sense that a long journey awaits you. Yeah, probably a couple streams worth. I think Rinrang probably is normal type, but we'll need a fighting move to test that. Normal shouldn't be super effective against anything though, which is interesting. Okay, I wish I actually had my Miku out, damn. Alright, we're gonna switch back to that, because I forgot there's a lot of spell sprouts in this tower. Because it is the beta bell sprout tower. Growlithe. Yeah, we're gonna switch. My fire attacks are not gonna do that well. So you're up, Hatsune Miku. I don't know why I keep liking... I don't know why I keep liking to say Hatsune Miku so much. Alright, Growl Light, not Growl Lift. Right, that's what I'm facing. By the way, Glitch Hunter 09, I, I really respect you for answering a lot of the people in the chat's questions too. Uh, so, uh, Props to you. You're an, ama you're an amazing person. Hey, Miku's at level 13 now too. Oh, we're trying to learn Leer. Do I want to? Do I want to forget something for Leer? Unfortunately, we can't. Oh frick! I messed up. I lost tech. Oh well, we'll learn Letterfly move eventually. Well, well, well. I guess Cut is our best attack with with Miku, but we'll switch back to Smokey. Oh, 
Uh, by the way, I hope you guys sometimes enjoy my freakishly high energy scares like that where I accidentally replace Peck with Lear. I need fly very quickly or another fly move, wing attack, something to replace that. Smoke is evolving, guys! Here we go! Yay! Evolve into a Volbear! Hey! Look at it! It's so, it's so beautiful! Elf Mom is calling me. Hi, Gold. How are you? I found a useful item shopping. Oh, okay, right. Your mother buys stuff. Right. Guess we'll check our PC later. Whoops. So yeah, let's look at Smokey's new evolution ball bear and see. Man, look at that. It's such a beautiful design. Why did they get rid of this? I mean, I love the Cyndaquil line. Damn, I wish this Pokemon was still in there somewhere. Look at it. It's so beautiful. Alright, let's look at the sign. This is a statue of a Tentacruel. So it is. Despite its large and intimidating appearance, Tentacruel teaches us that all Pokemon have pure hearts. This statue is dedicated to a Tentacruel that uses tentacles to lift a drowning child out of the river next to this tower. Wow. I actually like this uh, tower a lot more. Love this little lore about each of these Pokemon. Above the fifth floor is access to this roof, but even we are not granted uh, to set foot in that sacred place. Hmm. Ah, more. Ah, the twins are back. Whoa, look at. So this was a lion. This looks more like a lion now than any bear. But yeah, at least from the back sprite, it looks like this. Well, good thing this is a special attack here that we're using with Ember, and it's a critical hit at that. Up yours, Lear. Alright, Grimby. Okay, here's here we go with more beta Grimer. Let's go Miku. I am sad that I lost Peck, but I think Cut might do for now. I mean, Cut is still broken as hell. I just hope Harden doesn't uh, make it too weak though. Next guy. We're only at th floor three, by the way. We got two more floors after this too. I hope the fifth floor is just one guy, and one boss trainer at the top. Imagine if Kurt's at the top and you face him. That'd be fun. That'd be really fun. You have done well to make it to this this far. By the way, I'm amazed how many people are watching this. I got like roughly a hundred people at all times watching this. Sage Neil wants to fight. All right, Neil Patrick Harris, let's go. With your hoot hoot. I mean, now that it's evolved, it's stronger too, so let's see how much... Okay, that didn't do very much. Maybe it has a high special defense. Let's try a regular move. 
That didn't really do much better. Maybe I'll sp go return back to Ember. Yeah, I know. Cut's actually pretty damn OP in this game, actually. I would have kept it. Actually, I'm gonna go into the. I don't remember it, but the Gen 2 show how strong each attack was. Ah, oh, crap. Alright, guys, we're gonna be here sleeping for a bit. Ho hopefully, not for too long. Mew, Serena, saying Kurt at the top with Ho Ho, the three dogs, Lugia, and Celebi. That'd be an amazing final boss, just saying, here. That'd be an amazing final bus boss. And uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna head to the Pokemon Center to heal if there's an actual boss up there. I do have potions too, so we'll see. Unless, unless the Pokemon's PP is down. I know, that sounded wrong, but I can't say it in any other way. Oh boy! I'll try one more. Don't die, Smokey. Don't die, Ami. Oh, this is... Sleep is broken, I think, in this demo. Dear God. Okay, we're switching. Miku, it's all on you. I think. Fuck it, we're using a potion here. Okay, here we go. Let's hope we wake up now. Oh, finally! <laughs> oh, God, that sleep took too long. Oh. Please continue. Yeah, yeah, putting me to sleep for so damn long. All right, uh, let me let me go into the mini and check actually uh, how strong cut is. I'm now curious. If it tells me that is, let's see. Nope, this is not Gen 3 where it does that. So wait, does it tell me in the item menu? I'm trying to remember this. No, it does not. Yep, this is Gen 2. I should remember this. I'm gonna save just because I've been saved for a little while now. We haven't played for a while. Wow. Huh. Streams been, this is definitely my longest stream, by the way, in case you guys are wondering. Not counting my really old streams where I used to play Yakuza, but... Oh! I want to beat the last guy, just the, the guy there, just because, um... Grinding. For grinding reasons. What does climbing this tower mean to you? It means trying to do what Kurt told me to do, that's what it means. Say Jeffrey wants to battle. Hey, Jeffrey sends out Rin Rang. Rin Ring. I almost said Rin Rang. Alrighty. Ember to death. Ooh, burnt. Yeah, I've heard Prof uh, Imposter Professor Oak is in this, actually, um, in the Space World uh, demo, so I imagine he's going to be involved in the story of this, uh, too, as such as we go forward with this game. Say Jeffrey was defeated. Well, then. Alright, going up. So, I see one guy here. If I go down... And that's a ho statue, I can see it from here. Let me just read that. Oh, there's two guys here. This is a statue of Ho-Oh, the legendary bird Pokemon that once made roost on the top of this tower. Yeah, this is the Tin Tower at the same time it clearly seems to be. May we honor its nesting place so that one day it may return. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll face whatever's down here now. Oh yeah, there's four trainers here at least. A sense that it was the right decision for you to make this journey. Imagine going into a into a Buddhist tower and you get and all these uh, monks come and face you. I don't mean a Pokemon; they actually come and try to kick your ass.
the thing. I have a fire starter because this is very easy with a fire starter here. Hey, Titan Tracks, welcome! Sage, okay, uh, Hoot Hoot. Here, God, I have PTSD from the last one still. Ugh. Let's send Miku out for a bit. Okay, I, yeah, we're probably gonna have to hit up the Pokemon Center before we go to whatever the final boss of this tower is. I think this one's defense is kind of weak, or cuts just OP as hell. By the way, in case some of you are wondering, yeah, this is a blind plate. Ah, oh, <laughs> we're asleep again. Dear God. Okay. How long will this hold out, guys? So yeah, we're asleep. Miku's sleeping. I mean, I, I, Miku's sleeping is always cute and everything, but um, not a Miku in mid-battle. <laughs> okay, we're probably gonna have to head up the Pokemon Center earlier than I expected, actually. So yeah, uh, Titan's track for what you missed so far. It's basically, we did the original Space World demo, we reached the end, so we're now playing a hacked version of the Space World demo that streamlined the story so you could play it from start to finish and connected all the areas together. And we're going to do a full playthrough of this in many parts, I believe. So, have fun watching it. And of course, this will go up later on for you guys to see anyways, if you missed any parts of this, so do enjoy. Alright, so... Oddish. Yeah, we'll just use a... Yeah, I don't think I have a Awakening on me, so we're probably gonna hit the Pokemon Center right after this battle just to heal my Miku. Yeah, Red Ranks does sound like a Dark-type Pokemon. Perfect for a cat, a black cat like that. Oh yeah, I could actually use the fast forward, wa fast forward uh, button to walk around to hatch the egg. But we're playing this as naturally as we can. I'll use the fast forward button to get to the Pokemon Center, however, like right now. And then we got hit by a Pokemon battle, because of course we did. Alright, I do want a Ghastly though, to be honest. Let's see if, we're, if we'll OTK it, or we'll weaken enough to, to capture it. Nope, one turn kill. Alright, we're heading up to the Pokemon Center. I love the fast forward button, honestly. Oop, too fast. Alright. Let's heal up. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna buy some Awakening, by the way, before we return to the tower. So, oh boy. <laughs> the amount of Hoot Hoos in here that will wake you up here. Alright, let's uh, hit the Poke Mart and buy some... Okay, I need some Awakening for this damn tower. Oh, we at least got a good amount of money. These monks definitely are pretty damn rich. Okay, I think three should do. I think I'm gonna get another potion at least in here. While I'm here, or two. Yeah, let's get two potions. Let's get 909. Let's get 99. Yeah, let's go for that. I wish. Okay, hello, Tony. Uh, so we are basically playing a. Well, we started playing originally a the demo of the 1997 Space World uh, demo of Gold and Silver, but then we played a hacked version of it because that demo ended prematurely, and we were, are now playing this demo that basically has streamlined it so you can play it from start to finish and connected all the routes. So we're going to do that and it's going to go on for many parts actually. So enjoy.
Alright, so, yeah, we're probably not catching this ghastly just because we're too high level. Oh, frick. I didn't mean to do that. I know it's a normal type. Just watch it get paralyzed. I was joking! I didn't mean to actually get paralyzed, this piece- ugh. I have enough Pokeballs, I bought some earlier actually, so I think we're fine Pokeball-wise right now. We're gonna put Miku at the forefront anyways right now, so I can actually catch some Pokemon without uh, having too much difficulty. Because, yeah, there's a three level gap right now between the two anyways. And let's use uh, the Paralysis heal we got earlier. Thankfully, we got one earlier. Alright, let's get to the top of this tower here. Ooh, what's this item here? An escape rope. Well, at least if we want to heal instantly, we got one now. Alright, what is this? Another ghastly. Where's that Pokemon with the pin push through it again? I want to find that thing. That thing must be like super rare in this tower. <laughs> Alright, let's hope a mud slap is enough and it doesn't one shot it. Don't die, don't die. Oh, wait. It, it, uh, right, it's a poison type. Uh. Okay, we got no ways to catch them right now. So, yeah. Okay, let's just keep battling these monks. And, because the next floor is the fifth floor, the final floor of this tower. I have little to say. But he's still said enough. So Tony, this is basically a, a demo that was released in Space World 1997 where it was a prototype version of it which was completely different from the actual Generation 2 game we got. So there's beta Pokemon in there, there is beta trainers, beta towns, be there's, oh, there's a lot of differences basically. So I hope you enjoy and see all the differences there are here. Ballerine, is this the, a pre-evolution to Mr. Mime? Because I like it a lot, a lot more than its actual pre-evolution. If it's if so. Or is this a pre-evolution to Chansey? Actually, maybe that's actually would make more sense. Man, they both have a kind of similar face, so it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, it's egg-shaped, so that's why I'm even thinking Chansey here. So yeah. Oh wait, yeah. This cut is broken in this game. But yeah, it's probably a Mr. Mime pre-evolution as all of you as well. So yeah, I'm gonna go with that actually. All right, more Rin Ring. Rin ring. By the way, in case some of you don't know, I'm a, I love cats. If I get this thing, it's gonna be part of my party. Like, full blown. Unless it has a boring type, like normal. Oh, yeah, right. I sh probably should just throw a Pokeball at the Ghastly. Maybe I'll get lucky. Thanks for the advice, James. We spend our days in serious reflection. Sounds like a monk. Okay, yeah, so that was actually a pre-evolution of Mr. Mime. That's confirmed by Glitch Hunter 09. Okay, let's see. More Meowzy. It's been a while, I think, since we faced one. I never thought I would love Cut so much. It one-shotted Meowzy. Oh, it was a critical hit, too, so I'm not surprised. But heck, I love this. Alright, more Rin Ring. Look at our Miku. Uh, coming so far away. Alright, last trainer here before we see whatever's at the fifth floor. I one day wish to see the sacred bird with my own eyes. 
Yeah, I've seen it. It's broken and strong. Looked amazing in heart gold. But, yeah, you won't see that for a few more generations. I really wish I had Peck right now. This would be a cakewalk right now. And remember, if your stream crashes, just refresh. The stream is not cutting out on my end. Because that's how live streams work, apparently. Especially on YouTube. It even happens with me on Nintendo Direct whenever I watch them. I have to, lo I have to refresh them time to time. Ooh! Oh, finally a new, a new move. And it's a bird type move. And yes, I'm calling it bird type because they're probably they're calling that. And I got rid of Leer as I intended. Not that I actually pressed it. This game is very buttery with how quickly the attack thing comes up and how quickly you have to you press it and it replaces it. So they be very careful when replacing a move in this. All right, so more is hypnosis hell, as I'm guessing at least. Let's try Gust. Not, okay, pretty good. Oh good, we didn't get Hypnosis at least. Let's see how, how good Cut does actually. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we named it Hatsune Miku simply because everyone asked and I absolutely love Hatsune Miku and Vocaloids overall. And yeah, I'm letting the audience choose what to nickname our Pokemon that I'm gonna party up. That's why Rattata's not party, not doesn't have a name. Okay, let's see what's in the fifth floor. There's one trainer as we were expecting, if that's even a trainer. I'm gonna save just in, in case, cause who knows? Cause who knows? It's not cursed, unfortunately, like I was kind of hoping, but yeah. I'm gonna read that sign first before I talk to him. I don't want to be warped out of the tower by mistake. This is a statue of Abra. Abra are easily startled and quick to flee when encountered in the wild. Be sure to honor and respect all Pokemon in their natural habitats. Fair. Welcome to the top of the fifth floor of the tower. This is a sacred place that should only be visited by those willing to show proper respect. I understand that Kurt has asked you to scale its floors. I hope you can go forward with the knowledge and understanding of how to tr properly treat Pokemon. Return now to see Kurt. You have my blessing. Okay, neat. On to Kurt. Yeah, that wasn't a Kurt, I guess, in the end, as I was hoping. Alright, and we're out of the damn tower here. <laughs> Let's talk to Kurt and see what he says. Ha, <laughs> it does. Imagine if... I want to see Twitch Plays Pokemon play this demo now. I actually want to see how they would do. You have learned the ways of Pokemon. I would be honored to provide assistance to you. I can build Pokeballs, special custom ones that may prove useful. Here, I'll give you one to you now. Say it. So at least we got... So yes, Liam Kurt does the exact same thing in this. Bring apricots and he'll make Pokeballs for you. Or apricorn, not apricots. I make balls from apricorns. Collect them from trees and bring them to me. I'll make balls out of them. Neat. Okay. I feel Kurt being the final boss is going to be a meme from here on. I want it to be a meme, but I don't feel I'm a big enough YouTuber to make that a thing. Alright. So we've been playing for a while here. What's Route 102? Pagoda to Westport City. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I think we're going to go to Westport City and stop there then. So yeah, we're going to just go up there. I think yeah, that's probably the best place to stop. So yeah, we're, we're going to keep going forward. An Oddish. I know I got a request to keep an Oddish uh, for the sake of um, bring, making a Blossom. So, why the hell not? Oh shit, I forgot to heal my Pokemon. I should go back and do that. Uh, 
Okay, Titan Tracks is, Tracks is asking, random question, what's your favorite track from the Pokemon series? The Generation 2 or Generation 4 even, uh, bike theme. I love that, I'm addicted to listen to it whenever I hear it. And yes, I know, it's a sped up version of the Golden Rod City theme. Yeah, the, yeah, apparently uh, Pagoda City is actually based off a city in Japan that is full of pagodas. So, that's the name. Alright, let's try to catch it now. Yeah, we're not using a lower wall, I'm not that stupid. Alright, yeah! All right, the weed poke one. So we can roll this and smoke it, right? I know, I know, lame joke, lame joke. Everyone's in the world of price said it. I want to say at least once on, on, I'm not on camera yet, but I want to say it at least once. What? Hi, YD Master Captain. I don't know if there's any Indians here, but if you're Indian, um, uh, welcome to the chat. If you're from India, hello to you from Canada. But um, but welcome here. Yeah, hey, let's see our Pokemon and move to the next city. So Retro, you're very late to the thing, but I'm gonna uh, show this off. We're gonna we're on our way to the next city, and then we're gonna probably stop the stream and continue next time. And yeah, this is gonna be a continuous stream. We're gonna go through the whole game. That's the plan uh, at this point. I don't think Bennett's were this in Generation Two actually. Ah, Spinarak. I think the sprite looks different here. Let's catch this, too. Yeah, I gave up Ghastly for now. I'm not sure. Oh, shit, it's Wizwar100. A person I know in real life, and a, and a good person who streams on, um, on, uh, t Twitch. Check his channel out, by the way, I recommend. But yeah, welcome here. I guess someone posted the this on the Discord because I forgot to do that. Thank you to whoever did that. I don't I don't stream on Twitch, but I might do a multi-stream just later on down the road. But so but for now I'm on just on YouTube. Because I don't feel like I'm big enough yet. Would be a good way to capture a bigger audience, definitely. I'm I'm not gonna kid that. We're still at the beginning of the of the Pokemon Adventure. We only got one badge right now. We beat Falconer earlier. So, we still got seven more badges to go. And yeah, there's only eight badges, I believe, in this. Not the full 16 that we got in the final game, because... Japan as a whole is a, um... Is a thing here. So, Wizwar 100. This is a prototype of Pokemon Gold and Silver that came out in 1997 at Space World. And basically, it was demonstrated there and it was a very different game from what the final gold and silver games were so the maps completely different covering the whole all of japan rather than just one uh, two regions of johto and kanto and so oh hey we got an ice berry so yeah there's beta pokemon in here beta talents beta a lot of stuff so i hope you enjoy man the bush here blended way too well in the tree i almost missed it And, and Corazon Feathers, I hope you're enjoying the stream, by the way, with this recommendation. Thanks to my studies, I'm ready for any Pokémon. Here's another Pokémon battle. Schoolboy Allen wants to battle. Yeah, apparently uh, the reason the map is so different here is because 
Um, originally, they were going to make only one big region because they couldn't make two. So Satori Iwata, as Glitch Hunter 09 says, saying, came and decided to compress the data so much that they could make two regions. So they decided to make one based on Johto and keep Kanto from the old game in with alterations. The true man. The old president Nintendo that we love so much. Ah, finally a full Tangela. Let's gust him away. Oh, thank god poison powder didn't work. I wish current president Nintendo was more f up, up front like Iwata personally, since Iwata was um, always in front of the camera, memeing to death with Reggie. Oh, that was a golden age when we had both Reggie and him. I was hoping Bowser, uh, President Bowser of North Nintendo of America would also be a meme. Unfortunately, he wasn't, despite his name. Alright, what's what we got here? I'm the best in class at Pokemon. It's honestly not even close. Haha, <laughs> I've been playing Pokemon since I was... 8, I think? In the 90s? Good luck, kid. Good luck, Ian. Mankey. Man, Miku's having a heyday today, just destroying everything that's weak to it. What do we got next? A Diglett! Hey, we haven't seen one yet. But again, good for Miku here. This... I think this Diglett spray is different from the final games. Looks a hell of a lot more detailed with the ground coming up like that. I think at least. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. I don't have sprites on hand to compare right now. I'm not doing... This is not a cut content episode. Alright, the okay, another fodder trainer defeated. What's the sign say? Trainer tips. Use dig to return to the end I guess we did face a dig, but that does make sense. Alright, moving forward. Another spinner rack. I mean considering I'm I'm grinding here, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna one shot it. Oh yeah, so that Diglett sprite was different, indeed. I like the detailed nature of that sprite. I wish they had kept it, actually. Alright, what's this house here? Come and take a break, game house. Okay, let's go and take a break! Hmm. Hmm. I opened this game house at a place from trainers to come and socialize between battles, but it doesn't seem to be catching on. Hey, if you find any traders who might be interested in a place like this, could you let me know? How about it? Let any traders who might be interested know about this place. Maybe look in town where there isn't too much to do. Ha! Huh. Only two, two N64s. Yeah, some form of arcade you got! And no specific game here. In my head canon is just Pokemon Stadium 1 he's playing, because 2 is not out yet. Alright, so moving forward. Another trainer battle. This is where I do my training. Um, now, now since everyone's comparing what time it is right now in the chat, here it's 11.30 p.m. 11.34 p.m. So yeah, it's pretty damn late. <laughs> I should probably switch to my other Pokemon because Miku's starting to level up like crazy. Hey, I guess this is technically the Gen 2 version of the Trick House, except without the tricks and without the fun. Because those N64s did absolutely nothing. Oh, right, we're facing ground type. Don't take out your fire starter for that. Sandshrew, we haven't faced one of these yet. Man, I love how that we have people from all over the world here in this. Amazing. 
I love how, I love how we have a full united world watching a a stream of Pokemon. Shows how to reach a Pokemon too. All right, let's mud slap it with its own ground type. I don't know if I want to train Oddish. I kind of want to do something else. I don't know. I've never been too much of an Oddish fan, actually. Now that I think about it, I know it's kind of requested, but man. I'd be filling up Pokemon too much because I want to train whatever is in this egg too later on, so yeah. So I'm gonna stick to Smokey and Miku for a bit. Hey. You all love Miku too much, but so do I. I should just one day stream a Hatsune Miku game and just suck at it for you guys. Because I can't apparently do anything beyond hard mode because I'm horrible at it. So yeah, we got we got virtually every continent here. If we get Africa and South America in, we're golden now. We got the whole world in. Yeah, because I'm already seeing Asia, North America, Europe, Australia. Just need two more continents to cover this now. Of people here. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to Miku evolving. I mean, Miku's evolution, I know what it is. I mean, I know the Farfetch evolution, and it does technically work well with one of Miku's costumes as well. So it's very fitting. Last trainer? Yep, last trainer. Yeah, we face every trainer because we grind. Yeah, I have Mega Mix. I, I love that shit. It, I, I like the better in Future Tone just because I like the cell shading that was in that. Hey, Peru's here. We're hitting South America now. Come on, Africa, someone from Egypt. Somewhere, South Africa. Any country there. Nigeria, something. <laughs> give me every continent for once. As bonus, give me Antarctica too. I will eat duck with leek if someone makes it for me, and so someone give, give a good recipe for it, just saying. Oh, yeah, I know, that's a joke from the anime. You know what I miss? That Dominatrix teacher from earlier? Why can't we face more of her? I miss her already. Hello, and Andre Davis. Welcome to the, the stream. Late, but I'll be putting this up later again. Okay, we're switching Pokemon to... Smokey, because Miku's over level now. I'm trying to keep my starter at the highest level, because that's usually what I do when I put Pokemon. My starter always has to be of a higher level. Uh. I don't see... I don't see a problem with saying Nigeria. I hope someone's here from Nigeria, actually. Even a Nigerian prince pretending to uh, give me money, but does isn't really. I mean, there's, I mean, there are people who actually live in Antarctica just for research purposes, but don't, you know, get civilized there. Alright, let's Ember Kadabra and move on here. I, okay, I do love Blossom, it's just, um... I want to go for some. I want to see if I can get more unique Pokemon for this, because considering there's a lot of unique Pokemon in this beta, so I want to try to add more of those to, to the party, more or less. And so, as Caleb Campbell asked, am I playing through the whole thing? Yes, I am. This will be in many parts, of course, because I cannot do this in one day. I won't be sleeping if I did that. And it's 11:39 here right now. I haven't made super chat options yet. I have been told I probably should. Oh shit! It's a silver battle here. You gotta check out Westport City. There's a giant Mars and a radio tower, and oh yeah, I've started the League Challenge. I heard you have two gold. This will be a great way to show the world how my team is the strongest there is. I've also been out catching some Pokemon. Have you? Let's battle to see who's our better. Here we go, Silver Battle time! Dun, 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 dun. 
da 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 Yo! Thank you, Titan Strax, I try. And, uh, yeah, I plan to do Super Chats at some point, and I should really look into it, honestly. But I want to make, get some original art for some, um, I proper icons, actually, so we'll see. But yeah. But yeah, let's face, um, Elfmon, the silver. Whoa, Kotora! Here's a fan favorite! Which is strong against my- against Miku! Switching the scoop face! So yeah, this is a, this was originally a Generation 1 as well as a cut Pokemon. They brought it back for Generation 2. Oi! Thunder waved. Alright, this might be a slog, but I think we could do it. Alright, see you later, Caleb. Watch the rest of it later. I should look up, actually, on Google. Images of Hatsune Miku and Farfetch together. I'll put it on on my Twitter. By the way, follow me on Twitter, everyone. I post a lot of memes there. I share a lot of memes there. I am a meme on there. I try at least. Or I unintentionally sometimes am a meme. I don't know. But follow me on Twitter. We get to talk there too. Yeah, I think right. I think Kotora is the entire Kotora line, which is three. Um. Which is, uh, three evolutions is all line based actually. Some believe Raikou actually replaced this line. But, uh, paralysis is bullshit, as always. I don't have a, par a paralysis heal either. Alright. Crucial. Okay, switching to Miku. Take out the the water seal. I hope we see the Kotaro line one day again. I know it's been too many gens since the six generations since then, but they should bring it back. There's actual demand for this Pokemon here. Seal. So, you know, I, you know, I remember the last, next time we got a, um, a seal starter water Pokemon was in Generation Seven, and everyone hated it, and everyone loved the cat and the bird, Litten and um, shit, what was the bird called? Rowlet. Yeah, but I, I like that seal, even though I didn't start with it. I went with Litten because I like cats. Alright, Rin Ring. Okay, I think maybe Rin Ring is a, um, is actually a dark type, considering you use Bite, and Bite, I believe, at this point was a dark type move. Man, cut it. Busted! It it outstrengths, um, Gust even. Wow. Wow! Looks like you've beaten. You've been working harder to raise your Pokemon. He is nicer than Blue. What the hell? I'm not used to this. What is wrong with you, Silver? Why'd you stop being Giovanni's son? View. It was good catching up with you, Gold. I'm heading back into the city. See you around. No smell you later. Nothing like that. Okay. Okay. Okay, then we're almost at the city, I guess. Hey, there's an upstairs here. Phew, the Westport Department Store has an underground level. So I'm guessing this Westport City is the equivalent to what Goldenrod City was in the final version. Ooh, ooh, and we get this. Can we actually see anything outside? I see a small desert town north of here. Interesting, considering there was a des... Oh, this makes sense, considering there's a Dust Bowl area in Japan, up north in Japan, actually. This is actually very accurate. Alright, here we are. 
Dun, dun, dun. Yep, this is the goldenrod theme. Dun, 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 dun. Let's heal. Alright, so we're gonna heal and stop here, by the way. Since we've been playing for nearly three hours. Yikes. Um, so... So yeah, let's say let's let's just go outside here so we can begin anew when we actually stop here. So everyone here, thank you so much for coming here. This is gonna be a continuous stream I'm gonna do, and I'm and I love the audience that we got here and all the support and everything here for it. I'm gonna have a new cut content episode planning to come out next week, and I'm gonna have more of this stream coming soon as well. So everyone, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and everyone, thank you for watching.